Hey, did you know that blood is more than just the red liquid in your veins? It is made up of different parts that all play important roles in keeping you healthy, like the red blood cells that give you oxygen and white blood cells that fight off sickness and platelets that help with blood clotting. There is also the plasma, which carries important things like nutrients and hormones around your body. And don't forget, plasma also contains antibodies, which are like your body's special forces that protect you from germs and bacteria. But here is the thing, not everyone's blood is the same. Do you know your blood type? Even if you do, you might not know what it means for you health-wise. But don't worry, we can learn about it together. In today's video, we're going to talk about six super essential things you need to know about your blood type. So make sure you stick around till the end because we don't want you to miss any of these facts. But before we get started, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and turn on post notifications so you never miss a new video from us. All right, let's get started. Number one, antigenic variations. Your blood type is determined by the presence or absence of certain antigens on the surface of your red blood cells. These antigens are like little flags that tell your immune system whether the cells are foreign or friendly. The four main blood groups are AB, AB, and zero. These are determined by the presence or absence of two antigens, A and B. Group A blood is characterized by the presence of antigen A on the surface of the red blood cells, and the absence of antigen B people with type A blood make antibodies against antigen B. Group B blood is the opposite. It has antigen B and no antigen A people with group B blood make antibodies against antigen A. Group AB blood is the rarest blood type. It has both antigens A and B, so they don't make any antibodies against either antigen A or B. And finally, group zero blood doesn't have any A or B antigens, so it is considered as a universal donor. Number two, rhesus factor. The rhe factor is a protein that can be found on the surface of red blood cells. If you are rate positive, it means that you have the protein on your red blood cells. If you are rate negative, it means that you don't have that protein. So, for example, you can be blood type A positive or A negative depending if your rhesus factor is either positive or negative. Number 3. Blood Transfusion Now, when it comes to donating or receiving blood, your blood type and ray factor are very important. Zero negative blood is considered the universal donor, as it can be given to people of any blood type. This is because zero negative blood doesn't have any A or B antigens, so that it won't cause a reaction in someone with a different blood type. On the other hand, AB positive blood is considered the universal recipient, as it can receive blood from any type. This is because AB positive blood has both A and B antigens, so it won't react to any other blood type. Number 4. Overall health. The next fact talks about your overall health and how your blood type influences your health. It is worth noting that your blood type can affect your health and susceptibility to certain diseases. For example, people with type 0 blood may have a lower risk of certain heart diseases while people with type AB blood may have a higher risk. Number five, pregnancy. You should know your blood also play an important role in the health of your baby. If a mother is ray negative and the father is ray positive, there is a chance that the baby will be ray positive, which can cause problems for the mother during pregnancy. Here's the thing, if this antibody starts recognizing something it shouldn't in the blood cells of the fetus, it could cause a problem. The body's defense mechanism might kick in and attack the baby's red blood cells. Number six, heredity. Finally, the last fact is that your blood type is hereditary. Your blood type depends on the alleles for the blood group that you inherit from your parents. Your blood type is therefore set from birth, but there are some rare cases where it can change. One instance is a person who gets a bone marrow transplant for leukemia. 
since the bone marrow is where red blood cells are made. If the donor has a different blood type, there's a chance the patient's blood type will change to match the donor's. All right, there you have it, folks. Six essential facts about your blood type. Now you know why it is critical to know what type you are and to keep that information handy just in case you ever need it. So what do you think? Do you want to share any thoughts on blood types or concerns about the fact listed in the video? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and we will see you at the next one.